welcome today i have for you at least two new samsung galaxy application updates right there are a few more we have a new version of the sound system version 41007 default to display volume level in the volume bar add a volume panel position change function to menu other operation stabilization you know one of my favorite ever change logs also a new version of nice sketch and a new version of link sharing but probably the king for today's video is going to be the photo editor gonna ask why gonna explain you by reading the change log but you know with modern samsung phones every time you do edit a picture you save it it's there you can always go back and revert to the original but somehow we always think well the phone kind of keeps both pictures now finally with the photo editor version 2.9.2633 after you edit an image you'll now choose to save it as a separate image file because sometimes let's say your girlfriend or your kid or cat are you know so cute you want to save all the edits right now you can save your edits into a separate picture which is different from the original this is what we're going to be testing and also the advanced features that made it easy to edit by color have been re-equipped and applied as color mix Something also very important, small images that are 1 megapixel or smaller can be edited after improving the low image quality which resize in more. When you edit some text, now we have the ability to download phones from the Galaxy Store, which is kind of nice when you want to do some custom markup. And you have the ability to cut and add only the necessary parts when adding images during editing, which is kind of nice. So what I'm going to be doing right now, I'm going to hit the update button and let's just try to test all these new functionalities all right mainly editing pictures saving them as standalone files keeping the original which i think always is something good to have and of course test this new color mix we're going to be also going and exploring all the options that we have in the more menu from the photo editor okay so without any further ado let's open it i've opened a photo of mine let me try to do some edits, by the way, so I can just go here and just put some markups, right? Now, when you click save, right, you're gonna see save over the original, which was not appearing before. Before, the phone would just like save the picture, and then boom, the original is gone. So you had always the option to revert back. Don't worry, you can always stop revert to go back to original, even after saving over it. To keep the original and edit version separate, tap more option, save a copy. So let me just try to save it. Here the saved picture. Now, of course, I have the button revert. I can press revert. I can undo all changes and then boom, it's like this. Let's try to apply this one. This kind of looks like me, right? And if you go here to more, right, you can save this as a copy. Now you can see in my folder that I have these two pictures. I have the original one, right, with a markup and I have this one. What is funny is that this one here, the preview shows no markup. When I go inside, I have the markup. And when I press the edit button, I have the options to still reverse. So now I can save it. And now if I go back, boom, no markup. All right. But we know there is more. If you hit here the more button, we also have the color mix. And the color mix is actually presenting all these nice options. You can tweak the hue, you can tweak the saturation, more colors, less colors. You can choose the luminance and you can also do this for all the colors, right? This color mix actually gives you the option to edit the picture, right? And kind of pop it out. Of course, you have also the options to just create a black and white picture, right? Like very dramatic. Or you can go and just tap a color. If you tap color right now with this, boom. Now edit this color. See? As simple as that. Of course you can now save the picture right something else guys inside here we have also something called resize when you click resize right you have the option to keep it original but you can decide that you don't want to waste so much space and you can just go with 60 percent if i press down the picture is going to get resized and it's going to occupy less space on your phone now you can go back to resize and you can even go to 20 percent right of course now the picture quality will degradate but it will also take less space on your phone go to more options resize to increase the resolution of this image so i can now press revert which will automatically revert it to original and if i go to resize i can just choose the resolution now this picture is already running at a high resolution but if you have a picture with a smaller resolution you can always use the resize to trick it up a bit i really hope guys that you've enjoyed this video if that's the case don't forget to like the video share it with your friends subscribe to the channel and please stay safe guys until we meet in one of my next episodes with that said we'll see you over and bye